What's good YouTube TK or Trap Kage back with another video and in this video I'm gonna show y'all how to shoot better on NBA 2K21 and like the badges I run what you're gonna need to shoot better but other than that yo Trap cue the intro Okay so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get your hot zones by playing my career. I already made a video on that but if you don't know what check your hot zones you go to your stats you click R3 then you slide all, all the way over the shot chart your NBA hotspots transfer over to the park so we'll try to get all those hotspots you're gonna need to have above like at least 30% for it to be neutral if they're like cold and then just keep shooting in those spots and then eventually they'll turn red and that will give you a bigger boost when you're shooting so you're gonna want to run hot zone hunter with that it's gonna help you shoot better in all those spots your hot spots you know you know how hot spots work next up is the badges you're gonna want to run the badges you want to run are crucial um in this game because shooting is very difficult there is a skill gap in this game i run difficult shots because i like to take off dribbles apparently that's gonna get nerfed soon so i might have to make an updated one on that but i like catch and shoot it helps me shoot apparently flexible release in this game is broken well not broken but it actually works so you guys might want to run flexible release i like hot zone hunter and green and range extender Hot zone hunter, I already told you I was gonna give you the boost in your hot spots. Your range extender is gonna help you shoot from farther away. Sometimes I run volume shooter because if I'm the person on the court who's gonna take the most shots, I'll have volume shooter on because it's gonna increase your percentage over time the more shots you take. But everybody else, you know, flexible release, you know, if you miss time your jump shots, you might want to run that. Sometimes I run corner specialist if you know I'm missing my hot spot in the corner or if I want to just shoot better in the corner because I hate missing in the corner. Next thing you're going to need is a good jump shot. A good jump shot is going to be crucial because, you know, every year there's jump shots that work and jump shots that don't work. Don't be ignorant and believe that, you know, whatever jump shot you got on is going to work. Some jump shots are just better than others. Once you find that, you're going to have to do this. You're going to want to take off your meter once you get very comfortable with your jump shot. I'm not really comfortable with my jump shot yet. I'm still looking for a great jump shot, so I keep my meter on. But once you get really comfortable, take your meter off because it's going to give you the boost. If you're really good with the shot stick, you can use the shot stick because that's going to give you a boost on your shooting too. But other than that, I'm TK at Trap Kage. My trap needs me. I'm out. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.